Welcome back to Broken Electronics. Late night edition. I'm Lee. It's great you could stop by. Now, this won't be late night for you. It'll be a Tuesday morning at 11, which is my normal release schedule. Uh, this is actually being recorded on Monday night. Hopefully I get everything finished in time for tomorrow morning's release. A uh, little, little background here. I was just installing 11.5.2 Big Sur on my 5.1 Mac Pro in the music studio, aka the Banjo Cave, uh, which, by the way, went very, very smoothly. I decided not to make a video of that because I had just recently made one on the Mac Pro that's in my uh, uh, Studio A, yeah, <laughs> my master bedroom. Uh, anyhow, it went, it went quite smoothly. I had to force restart it twice, which really is pretty good comparatively. Uh, so we went through that, got up to the first boot to the desktop of Big Sur, and first thing that pops up, notification of 11.6. So yeah, in between the time that I decided to install 11.5.2 uh, on the machine, 11.6 dropped. So I went ahead and installed that. That wasn't quite as smooth. I think there were five forced restarts uh, that time. Uh, but anyhow, it did install and, and it is up and running now. So I'm here in front of the test Mac Pro right now uh, in Studio B, of course. And we're going to install the update to 11.6. Uh, I warn you now I'm really tired it's currently about 11.50 uh, maybe a little later than that excuse me 10.50 a little later than that like I say I'm tired uh, but I'm going to persevere I hope to be able to get this video out for tomorrow morning's release this is being recorded on a Monday night well in any event if you're interested in seeing the process of installing this OS update and I know a lot of you are, please stay tuned. We're on the desktop, now yeah, let's see, active desktop, so it's it's definitely nighttime here. Uh, let's take a look at system preferences and click software update, and we'll check for updates, which is already done, and show us Mac OS Big Sur 11.6. We will update now. Agree the license agreement. Downloading. Looks like downloads going pretty quickly, which is faster than it was doing the other machine, although that's uh, got some Wi-Fi. So just about four minutes remaining, five minutes remaining. All right, so it's going reasonably quickly, but we won't wait through this because it, it's going to have about 15 minutes of preparing uh, once this is done. So we shall come back when something's about to happen. Stay tuned. All right, the download is done. Uh, we get the warning about restarting the computer. Restart now. For the record, it's uh, about 11.25 now. It'll go at this for a while, then reboot itself. Oh, that was quick. Maybe that's a good sign. This machine has been pretty smooth at doing Big Sur. Every machine can be a little bit different. All right, might as well wait for it to reboot here. Sure it will. Okay, here we go. Of course, the two monitor thing, most of the verbose output comes on the second monitor. It did briefly flash the... Okay. 
firmware execute successfully validate the payload. Okay, that that should manifest. That should continue. Don't know why it's holding up here. And that's the problem with this. It, it's hard to read for sure whether it's frozen or not. I've never seen it. Oh, ah, uh, okay. So we get operation prohibited. I had never seen it stop at that particular point, so I wanted to make sure. All right. Let's see what happens with the reboot here. I like the dual monitor setup. Okay, so it's, it says Macintosh HD, but that's the installer. This looks promising. Very promising. We should get booted into the installer. I've seen this, the creating dirty exit file, and gone past it, yes. It's going so quickly, it's a little hard to tell what it's doing. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> Let it go quickly. That would be a good thing. So we're at one forced restart so far. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing indications of patch. So it, it's patching the, uh, the update now. So yeah, this is going very smoothly. Okay, this ramrod display. Now, I, I, I'm not exactly sure what ram, ramrod display set granular progress forced really refers to, but it goes through this, and this goes rather slowly. Okay, so I'm going to spare you uh, some of this. I'd, I'd like to keep the length of this video within reason, so stay tuned. All right, it, it's past the ramrod display settings, and it's flying along again. Okay, this should. Oh, it may be rebooting. Yeah, maybe rebooting. In fact, it probably is. All right, back to this display. Okay, and there, yeah, so it's, it is booting now to the NVMe PCI dr PCIe drive. This is looking promising. Okay, good. Is 
just don't want to say it stole. All right, and now, here we go. This is probably not going to take us to the desktop, but it may. It'd be nice if it did. That, that would be very, very smooth. The one forced restart. Wow. But I tend, well, okay, okay, look at that. That's a good thing. We are at one forced restart now, which would be very, very good. But we gotta see if we're gonna get another restart here. Okay, we'll bring you back when something happens. Stay tuned. Okay, I don't know exactly what recorded and what didn't there. The the my iPhone started acting kind of funny, but I, I think we're in the countdown to the final boot to the desktop now. It says nine minutes remaining. Uh it did reboot itself, uh, and there was there was a clip there that I think didn't record, but there's no recapturing it, so there you go. Uh, but if this actually does boot us to the desktop, and it may, so far we're at one forced restart, which is remarkably good. But it might restart after this. I don't, I really don't know. Oh well, in any event, stay tuned. Okay, we're at less than a minute remaining now. Boy, I hope this is recording. The, the, my phone is acting differently than it usually has. Okay. This is where you tease yourself, looking at that progress meter. Did it actually move just then? Uh, I specifically waited for less than a minute. Yeah, it has moved. And there we go. Now. And desktop. How about that? about this Mac? 11.6. Okay. All right. <laughs> and actually, this has been a little under an hour for me making a video uh, to spend under an hour is pretty darn good. <laughs> A uh, lot of time spent around waiting. I have no idea how long the video will be. I'm hoping it's 25 minutes or less. But anyway, uh, I want to throw something out to people in the comments. Would you like to see a full install of 11.6? Now, my Studio A main machine, uh, I installed... 11.5.2 on a secondary NVMe PCIe drive. Uh, I am planning definitely to install 11.6 now on what's always been the main drive, the boot drive of that machine. Uh, 
if you'd like to see a video of that full install, well, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to, uh, to oblige. All right. Yeah, hey, this was one forced restart. That started good. In any event, be good to other people. Other people need it and deserve it. Be good to yourselves. Any good that we can do in the world has to start with being good to ourselves. I firmly believe that. We are trying to make the world a better place. It is not yet. So please, please take very, very good and careful care in these most difficult times. Yeah, we may have huh, the actual 500 subscriber may be installing 11.6 if that's what you want. Uh, if not, I, I have actually a video planned to, to put out. Uh, wow. Okay. Getting, getting a little too late and I still have to move these files around and edit them. So, until next week, this has been... Broken Electronics.